I bless you today, my brothers, sisters, and friends. Truly, I thank and praise the Lord for blessing me to be able to come to you on today. I thank God for waking me up this morning, starting me on my way. I'm thanking God for being so good to me. He's been better to me than I've been to myself, and I just give him glory, honor, and praise on today. My brothers, sisters, and friends, I feel impressed today to come and speak a few words on behalf of the Lord today concerning the subject of the Son of God in heaven now. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is in heaven now, but yet we have some who continue to teach this damnable, this damnable doctrine that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is not in heaven now or has never been in heaven. Well, we continually to stand against that lie from the gates of hell, all right? And those that have been enslaved by the devil to believe that lie. That lie is yet been perpetrated by some who yet claim that Jesus Christ is not in heaven now. Now let's take just a little time to talk about some things concerning Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of Man in heaven now at the right hand of God the Father. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, let us do understand and let us do remember that when Jesus Christ came to the earth, as flesh and blood, born of a virgin, he was fully God and fully man. So he was uh, a, a babe or a uh, body or a person who was born uh, of flesh and blood. He had a human nature and he had a divine nature. So he was 100% human being and 100% divine, all right, or God, all right? But even though he was 100% God, uh, he did not come to the earth with his 100% divinity, all right? He did not come to earth in all of his fullness, as the Son of God. Now, he did miracles. He did many wonderful works of God. He could forgive sin. He could heal, uh, but he was still limited uh, to some degree. Being in this body, being in this human nature. So, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of Man, was 100% human. All right? So, therefore, he walked this earth for 33 years being a human being, just as we are, other than the fact that he was also God. Well, now, we are not God, but we that have been born again are godly. All right, we have two natures in us. We have a human nature, and we have a divine nature because we have been born again. All right, so we are just like Christ. We are just like God. All right? So now, when Jesus Christ died, when Jesus Christ died, he pulled off that human nature and put on a divine nature. All right? So no, Jesus Christ did not go into the heavens flesh and blood. I agree with all that teach and say that Jesus Christ did not go into the heavens with flesh and blood. He was a divine person. He had a divine nature. He had a new body. He had a changed body. He had uh, a body that left uh, corruption and was incorruption, incorruption, put on incorruption. He had a body that was changed from mortal to immortality, all right? He had a changed body, but he did ascend into the heavens and sit at the right hand of God with that human, I'm sorry, with that divine nature, with that new body. So he is in heaven at the right hand of God now. So I disagree I come against all these false teachers, dead or alive, who are teaching that the Son of God is not in heaven now. Yes, 
the Son of God is in heaven now. Jesus Christ is in heaven now in a different body from what he had when he was here in the earth. But just because he has a different body does not mean that he is not the Son of Man or the Son of God. He is yet the Son of Man and the Son of God in heaven now. All right, now, Bishop Toots, uh, S.C. Johnson, and all those that believe in S.C. Johnson and Toots are a bunch of liars and false teachers and prophets. I'm going to tell you why. If they had just only said that Jesus Christ did not go into the heavens with the same body that he had here in the earth, that would have been fine. If they had been teaching, no, the Jesus Christ that is in heaven now is not the same Jesus Christ that was on earth with that, with that human body that's in heaven now, I would agree. But the fact that they said that Jesus Christ ended at the grave and that Jesus Christ is no longer the Son of God, but that he is the Father now in heaven because there have always been one in heaven. This is where they went wrong. This is the lie that they have been perpetrated. This is the lie that the devil has been using them to perpetrate. All right? Jesus Christ is yet the Son of God, the Son of Man in heaven, sitting at the right hand of God the Father. There are no longer uh, one in heaven. There are three in heaven. All right? The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Now, of course, we know the Holy Spirit is here in the earth. Now, if you had someone who would argue and say, well, the Holy Spirit is here in the earth and not in heaven, I would have to, have to disagree because the Holy Spirit can be everywhere at one time because the Holy Spirit is God. All right? So the Bible said there are three that bear record in heaven. There are three that bear record in heaven. So Tooks and, and, and S.C. Johnson says there is only one in heaven, just like Tommy Ingram, who is a false teacher and false prophet, perpetrates that same lie. Now, he want to make you all think that he believed that Jesus Christ died on the cross and he is the Son of God and in heaven, but Tommy Ingram does not believe that, that uh, there are three in heaven. He believed that there is only one in heaven. He believed that there is only one person in heaven, just like Tooks and just like uh, S.C. Johnson. There is no difference between Tommy Ingram, Tooks, and S.C. Johnson because they, only, they all believe that there is only one in heaven. We're talking about one person in heaven. The Bible doesn't teach that there is one person in heaven. It's, it teaches that there are three persons in heaven, three persons in the Godhead, not one person in the Godhead. Tooks and Johnson, Peter Cox, and the rest of them believe that only one person is in heaven, and that's God the Father. Tommy Ingram believed that there is only one person in heaven, and we don't know what person we believe, uh, what person he believed that is. Sometimes he's, he, he's interchangeably. He'll say it's God the Father. He'll say it's Jesus Christ the Son. We don't know what he really believes. Because he believed that the three are one. So he can use God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son when he gets ready. So he's no different from Tooks and Johnson. He's also a false prophet and a false teacher. All right? So we as true believers of God believe in God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That they are three divine persons and make up the one God. All right, so when the Bible said that there are three that bear record in heaven, it, and these three are one, it does not mean that three, these three are one person or one in number. That one suggests unity, all right? There is one God, and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are the one God. These three are one God, all right? That one suggests unity, not number. Understand that. Just like the church. The church is one body, but many members. Not one in number, but one in unity. All right? Again, just like the husband and the wife. The husband and the wife are two in number, but one in unity. All right? 
These two shall become one. How can the husband and the wife become one? In unity, in agreement. Same way the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost are, but they are three distinct entities or persons. Glory to God. So Tooks and S.C. Johnson and Geno Jennings, Tommy Ingram, Peter Cox are all false teachers. All right? All false teachers. Why? Because they believe that there is only one in heaven. Now, when you say one, if you're speaking one in the spirit, one in unity, one God, yes. All right? But the Bible speaks of three persons, three entities that make up the one God. Glory to God. So we believe, according to the scriptures, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God in heaven. Now, we're going to close it out with this scripture. Let's take our Bibles and go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and begin at verse 45. All right? 1 Corinthians 15, beginning at verse 45. And it says, uh, I tell you what, let's, let's begin at verse 42. I'm sorry, yes, verse 42. 15 verse 42. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in corruption. That's what happened to Jesus Christ. He went down in corruption, but he was raised up in corruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. That's what happened to Jesus Christ. All right, his body. All right, 44, it is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. That's what happened to Jesus Christ. All right? And let me say to Tommy Ingram again, you don't get a spiritual body un until the body has been sown. All right? You have a natural body. You don't get a spiritual body until you have this experience. All right? It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Verse 45, And so it is written, The first Adam, the first man Adam, was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. The first man, or the first uh, Adam, was the Adam we know, the first man. The second Adam, or the last Adam, is the Adam Jesus Christ, the quickening spirit. All right, verse 46, how bit that was not first, which is spiritual. Adam was not spiritual, what? He was natural. All right, but that which is natural. And after that, which is spiritual. After Adam, the, the uh, last Adam was a quickening spirit, who was Jesus Christ. 47, the first man is of the earth, Adam, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven, Jesus Christ. Verse 48, as it, as is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. As is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. Verse 49. Uh, as we, and as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Verse 51, Behold, I show you a mystery. I show you a mystery. You don't have to worry about not understanding or knowing what a mystery is. I'm going to show you what a mystery is. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, just as Jesus Christ was, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality, just as Jesus Christ did. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, 
Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Verse 57, But thanks be to God, which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. All right? So we thank and praise God for this word on today. We don't want anybody to be confused about this damnable teaching and doctrine that's going around talking about there is no Son of God in heaven now. The Son of God is in heaven now. The Son of Man is in heaven now. Does he have flesh and blood? No, he does not. All right? And we're not going to have flesh and blood when we put on immortality and when we put on incorruption. But we're still going to be the same person who we are now. We're not going to be in non-existence just because we're going to put on a new body. We're still going to be the same person, except we're going to have a new body. All right? We're going to have a new body. We're still going to have our same soul and our same spirit. That is the real us. The body is just what we live in. You don't change from being who you are just because you put on a new body. Glory to God. You're still the same person. Jesus Christ is yet the same person. He's still the Son of Man. He's still the Son of God. His body has been changed only. Glory to God. And that same Jesus that left is that same Jesus that's coming back. Glory to God. But he is in heaven now sitting at the right hand of God the Father. He did not become God the Father. He did not become God the Father as lying S.C. Johnson and lying um, Bishop Tooks. All right? Says, or said, and those that follow him, there are God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit in heaven now. All right? So we thank and praise God for this word on today. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.